All right, guys. Friday night, grand opening tomorrow. You're we working out. Courtney comes in and says, Steve, there's some guys outside all the way from Texas. You gotta come meet them. And I'm like, oh, just let them in. Just let them in. So here we have, we got brother, brother. You guys wanna introduce yourselves? Yeah, my name's Angel. I'm from uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. I'm 20 years old, out here with my brother. I'm Augie, 21 years old, still in Dallas, Texas as well. Kelvin, 19, uh, both best friends of none of them since high school, so we're pretty much like brothers. And they are the first ones here. Augie had an amazing, amazing story, which actually kind of solidified my thoughts about making this probably more of just a decoration and letting people who know what they're doing drive it if they want. I probably will stay off of it, A, because I can't even turn it on right now, it's so sensitive, and B, because you have a crazy story. Yeah. What, you wanna tell the people about it a little That's bit? That's fine. Yeah, uh, I went through a motorcycle accident. Some girl was texting and driving and uh, blocked both lanes. And so when I was looking behind, by the time I looked back, it was too late for me to do anything. So I hit the back of her car and then I went flying. Uh, the way her rear buckled, it hit my helmet, so it flew off when I went flying. Hit the my side of the skull of my head, have like a bunch of stitches from that, and then broke my neck in two different places in my back, and then I also have metal wrists. I mean, the fact that you're standing here right now, like your brother was saying, it's kind of, I mean, it's kind of a miracle. Kind of sounds like it could have very easily been it yeah. for you. It was my my rock bottom low. Like I was always like kind of in the gym, like every now and then, you know, kind of like working out and stuff, you know, just to kind of maintain it, whatever. But I honestly didn't think I was gonna be able to walk again. Didn't I, I woke up with excruciating back pain. Yeah. And uh, how is it now? How's the back pain now? It's a little bit better now. Like I'm finding ways to work out and stuff like that to actually help it and stuff like that. So it's actually a little bit better. Um, back but, pain's not fun to work around. I'll tell you that. Yeah, like, just L4, L5 stuff. But that's on another level. So yeah, yeah. So I mean, and then one day I just, I, you know, since I didn't have shit to do, but you know, just be on a bed all day throughout months found Steve Cook's videos and you know that it motivated me it pushed me to awesome. to get back into that get back into the groove and then actually go set goals for myself to pursue them and you know I, I appreciate that brother thank you I man mean, I really that's a that's something that uh, I don't know motivates me and we've been talking about this for a while but I want to do videos every day at least at least until um, I hit some of the goals I set forth in the beginning of the year, so I think that kind of gave me the motivation to push even more videos out. Sometimes when I'm when we're filming, it's like, ah, do I want to film another workout video? You get, I mean, you get complacent, you get tired of doing the same old, same old thing, but hearing that, hearing people say, I watch your videos, it just makes me want to be like, you know what? There are people out there that do watch, and you know, when, when you tell me that, like, I'm not going to lie, I don't feel like I'm that, like, I don't feel like what we put out is anything special, but when I hear things like that, it's like, if you can just... Even you, if you start posting on Instagram, posting on YouTube, everyone has something out there that other people are gonna find inspirational or gonna find like they can relate to that. And as long as you just help one person out, man, that's all that matters. So I appreciate you guys coming here. All the hard work, all the freaking long hours in here, being in Arizona looking for spots, coming to Utah to look for spots. This has been a goal of mine for years. And today is finally the day I mean, honestly, I feel like I haven't done enough because people around me have just been, like I've been sick and people around me, Jake, Sonny, um, Donnie, Joe, all these people, Gymshark, Pat, my brother, my sister, Nay, Courtney, Sonny and Jake though have been, my partners on the gym have just been all stars on this. So, so grateful to have the Gymshark crew here. This came together last minute. We're still missing some things in here, but we got enough to make it work. The lobby's looking phenomenal. We have local businesses coming out to support us. We pull out contest weathers. Now it's time to take a deep breath. And then we have a line of people around the building. Drove, people drove 20 hours from Chicago. People from Canada, people from Texas. We met those guys last night. And it's just now about to give thanks back to the people that made this possible. It's about meeting the people that all along the way at Expos and everything else that have been, you know, followers for six, seven years. And it's just crazy to me to have that kind of support. And definitely none of this would be, you know, possible without YouTube, without, you know, Expos, without all the companies that I've been with along the way. So it's a fun day. We're gonna have a good time. 
We're gonna do some challenges, um, and hopefully it's, everything goes smooth. Let's see how it goes. I started in fitness and just then I started in fitness Steve was doing a tour of Ireland and I was like who is this Steve guy and I was like on Instagram and like all the girls in my gym were like posting pictures with him and now I'm like here at his gym opening so it's like uh, he's come a long way and I've come a long way <laughs> We shut this place down. We shut every place down when we go there because that's how it's done. That's what you do. All these people came so far to see the gym. And honestly, I gotta owe it to this crew right here. You guys did a great job. Jake was here. Jake, Yo. how are you feeling about this all? Oh, great. Was it a success? Uh, it was overwhelming. Uh, Overwhelmingly successful. I was very surprised. Well, well, I shouldn't have been surprised, man. Jake had Apparently his... people like you. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> We had a good crew in here though, and I'm actually, after today, like I was I was legit a little bit concerned, like, oh, we might get 100 people, because St. George is kind of off the beaten path. There's close to 1,000. It was, it was insane. It was a really good turnout, so thank you everyone who came. Um, we got work to do. We're gonna put, you know, in the next couple weeks, we got fitness culture going on that wall. We got hammer strings coming. We gotta replace some equipment. But this is just the beginning for fitness culture. We got, the, the programming is now up. We got four men's programs and four female program. Um, you know, who knows? Sky's the limit. Supplements, we got clothing. It just thank you so much to everyone who supported it. Jake, what'd you hit today? Um, you, exercise wise? Yeah, what'd you lift today? Uh, just hit my legs. Some Olympic lifting. Those are some amazing shoes. Great gift. Some amazing my, my friend shoes Steve gave them to me. Yeah. He's a pretty good guy. All right, let's go have a beer. All right. <laughs> And by beer, I mean protein shake. I'm never drinking again. You guys know I'm kidding. I would never drink again. Oh, we're getting all the signatures on here. 
Yeah, all sorts of people coming on here. Sunshine and puppy Steve Cook. Congrats, Green Hell. <laughs> I like this. I'm digging them. This gym is legit. Soldier Nation. I'm liking it. Family, this wall will soon be filled up, that is for sure.